Winning of any tropes, usually this is done by cardiologist or cardiac surgeons. As I said, when we get to this point, you should have, we should have a cardiologist on board. The reason I said cardiac surgeons, this is for post mainly cabbage or open heart where they use bypass machine, there is a risk of low output syndrome. This patient has swan and they titrate based on cardiac index. Usually we leave it for a day or two. Um, the, the swan, I mean, they monitor the cardiac index. If the cardiac index remain good, they win off dobutamine. They come down, let's say it was five, they go to three or 2.5 and then shut it off and watch the cardiac index. And the same, so cardiologist usually titrate these down based on cardiac index and cardiac output measurements if they have these readings and they have a swan or right um, pulmonary artery uh, catheter. Now, and based on that, they come down on this. Now, some, some of them, they don't have a swan and they titrate based on the clinical response which uh, uh, by which I means they look at the signs of good perfusion uh, no lactic acidosis good urine output improvement in kidney function in general and they repeat echo and see if there is any improvement in um, injection fraction. Uh, so they come every day and look at these things. And then, of course, they look at the vital signs, specifically blood pressure, to see if they can continue with these inotropes or they have to cut down or stop them and look for any signs of arrhythmia. And based on that, they will come down slowly on the milrinone or inotropes and then switch it off completely after that. And if hypotension started, they may need to come down on them or stop them. The same thing if there is arrhythmia. The bottom line, usually as hospitalist or internist or internal medicine residents, we leave this job to the cardiologist or cardiac surgeon, cardiac surgeon mainly after bypass uh, procedures and cardiologists, as I said, when you have decompensated heart failure, low output syndrome, if they have these numbers, the cardiac index, cardiac output, that can help them with that management. Otherwise, they use their clinical judgment based on these things. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.